Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. So at the end of my previous vlog, you would have seen that I had a few orders that I needed to get done. And one of those orders was masks. So I thought what I would do today is show you a tutorial on how I make my face mask. These are a three layer cotton face mask that have um, a pocket for a filter if you wish to put one in. They are three layers, so it's not necessary to have a filter, but um, there's a pocket there if you do wish to have that extra layer of protection. These are a really easy mask to make <laughs> when your sewing machine is not playing up. I had an order one time where I needed to get six masks out and it was, oh my God, it was a total nightmare. For some reason, the cotton I was using just kept snapping. I broke needles. Uh, I was, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. It was late in the afternoon and I had a bunny mask to make and I accidentally <laughs> sewed the pattern upside down. <laughs> so one was the right way and the other one was upside down. Oh, it just, it was so frustrating. Anyway, I have changed my cotton and um, yeah, I'm just concentrating a lot more when I make masks now. I just, I got a little bit overwhelmed. I think I had the six masks to make and I had a couple other orders that I needed to get out as well. So I think I was just a little bit overwhelmed. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into making these masks. So I have a pattern here. This particular person has ordered three black masks. Um, I have some pattern masks to make as well, but I'm just going to show you how to make a simple three layer black mask. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Because I have uh, three masks to make out of just this black, I am going to fold my fabric quite a few times. Um, so when I make just the black ones, everything is all black. When I make patterned fabrics, I do two layers of either the black or the white cotton and then the pretty pattern is just one layer. So you'll just need to adjust that for whatever kind of mask you're making. So you'll need three layers in total, two of just the plain cotton and one of just the pretty pattern if that's what you wanna do. Okay, so I'm going to lay the pattern out. So if you are doing the first and second layer, they are the same size. And then when it comes to the third layer, which is the pocket, we are going to fold the pattern in half. So I'll show you what I mean. So when you've folded your pattern in half, you want to leave probably like, I would say about an inch of fabric. So what we're going to do is just pin this in place again. Try not to use actual pins because you don't want to penetrate the fabric at all. So about an inch. and you're just going to cut it straight. You can fold that over for a minute if you like just to get it out of the way. Cut the rest of your pattern. Okay, so we're just going to iron over our pieces. So with the pocket piece, what you want to do, roll over and fold back. So you're going to do two. And take your iron and iron that down so it stays down. 
And then you're just going to do the same with the other side. Okay, now we are going to sew these. Okay, so I'm going to insert a clip now of how you would lay out your pattern prior to sewing it or your pattern pieces uh, where I'm actually using different colored fabric so you can see what to do. Whereas this is just black, so it doesn't really matter. But you wanna just make sure that all your pattern pieces line up. So what we're going to do now is sew along the curve and we're also going to sew along the curve of the pocket. I like to do two rows of plain stitching. So we're doing straight stitching and I'm going to do two rows. It's not necessary, but it's just what I like to do to reinforce the stitching so I sew very very close to the edge that I've already done it's so hard to see because this is black on black okay so it should be looking some something like this and we're going to do the same to the pocket. Now what we're doing is we're just going to do a single stitch all the way down the edge of the pocket where we've um, ironed it down. So we're just going to do one simple stitch and I want it fairly close to this edge. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, very straight line down here. And now what we're going to do is just take a pair of scissors and you just want to cut along the curve, just like little snips. It doesn't have to be too precise, just don't cut your cotton of course. And we are going to do that to both of these. Our longer pieces, you want to flip it so that the seam is now on the inside, like that. And then with the pocket, you want to keep that so that the seam is still on the outside. And you just want to line the two of them up. Now, if you're not confident, you can clip it. But again, don't pin it with pins that are going to pierce the fabric. And you just want to push the seams up into each other. And you can pin down the bottom as well. Like so. Okay, so you have the pocket seam on the outside and this one on the inside. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to stitch along these edges and then if you want to you can put in nose wire I will be putting nose wire in mine and then we are just going to need two pieces of elastic this is hat elastic it's quite stretchy and it's very soft it's really really nice to go around the ears it doesn't dig in Okay, so what I like to do is when I get to the seam, I like to just do a couple of hand turns of the wheel and then spin my fabric around and make it a real sharp point.
and again I am going to be doing this stitch twice just to reinforce it. Okay, and now we are going to be stitching along the bottom. Okay, again, we are going to be just doing a couple of little nicks of the fabric across the arch where the nose piece is going to go. If you're not gonna put in the nose wire, still do the little cuts because it will help shape it around your nose better. Again, being really careful not to cut your thread. Okay, so if you're not going to put the wire on there, you can now flip this in the right side. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be putting a nose wire in mine. So I'm just gonna be bending mine in half to kind of get the middle. So I will be switching it to this zigzag. The wire goes on here like so. And then we're just gonna be stitching along here. So to ensure that mine really stays in place, I go over it like a thousand times. <laughs> Not really a thousand, but I do definitely go back and forth a lot, especially at the ends. So there's a lot of cotton that is covering the ends. Now we are turning to get around the nose part. So I like to keep the needle on the outside of the zigzag lift up the foot and then I kind of just bend the nose wire. And right where the bend is, is where I do a lot of stitches as well. Okay, so we're switching our stitch back to straight. And then we are going to just turn this inside out. This is our pocket. And now what we are going to do is sew in our elastic. For sewing in the elastic, what you wanna do is fold this in like so. And then what you want to do is roll it over twice like that and if you want you can clip this down just to get your elastic into place and then what you are going to do is take your elastic put your elastic right on the edge of your fold and we are going to stitch up here I use zigzag for this because it's black and you can't see it. When I'm using my lighter colored fabrics, I do a straight stitch, just it looks a little bit neater. So we're going to stitch here and then we're going to flip this one around and we are going to stitch this one here. So we make a little ear loop. And just do the same on the other piece of elastic and then of course we are just going to do the same on the other side as well and I go back and forth a few times to ensure that the elastic is well held down alrighty so I have sewn in the elastic on both sides like I said this uh, hat elastic is really soft and stretchy and it's really comfortable around the ears and it has nose wire, so it gives you that little bit more of a curve and you can pinch it against your nose. So if you liked this tutorial and you want to see more like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps support my channel and also lets me know the kinds of videos you guys like to see. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.